What's up guys, Weather Wednesday, coming at you with another Watcher of Realms video, and today I want to tell you how I finally got my Volca. Uh, I am on, let's see here, I am on day 42 of being signed in, and I earned my Volca this morning. And I waited until I had time to make a video to claim my Volca. So that's technically how I got my Volca. We'll go ahead and watch this real quick video. Kind of crazy. Love these videos so much. Possibly my favorite part of the game. I really wish that they had these for at least all of the legendary champions. I know that's a lot of work, it's a lot to ask for, but I just think they're really cool and uh, the more the merrier in my opinion. So I've only got about maybe five or six champions with uh, the with, uh, intro video. This, this feels like incredibly long compared to the others, maybe because she's like the main champion. So we've got a new legendary. I'll go ahead and claim my 50 diamonds. And I want to explain how I finally closed off the last bit of getting my bulk. And it was really a pretty simple decision that was also a hard decision to make. When you're starting this game, the number one thing that you need is heroes. You need to start collecting your heroes in this hero collector game. I know that sounds crazy, but there comes a point when you have enough heroes that you can start to make a little bit of progression, but then you get stopped up a little bit because your heroes are not built well enough. There's so much that you need to do to your heroes. Yes, I will continue to need to get more and more heroes. But I got to a certain point where I really needed to develop my heroes better, particularly in one area. I did not have enough six-star heroes. I had a ton of great heroes. I got very lucky uh, with my summons, in my opinion. Considering that I'm free to play and I'm six weeks into the game and I've got nine legendaries and I think they're all pretty good. You know, I'd say they're all S tier, E tier legendaries. And I could be wrong. Maybe there's a B in there somewhere, but you know, I really think that I've done really well, but I've also done really well with my epics. You know, I've got most of the epics that I've heard great things about. You know, I've got my Maul to, you know, his A5. I've got Hollow, a great healer. Idrola was my first epic. She's still amazing. I got Olog, an incredible tank. I got Mari, a good mage. I got Dolores, you know, the number one epic you probably need for guild boss. And this weekend I pulled Baron and I pulled Deimos. I finished the fusion for Aeon super easy, but there was still something that I was missing and that's, I just didn't have enough of them promoted to six stars. So this weekend I got very lucky in my pulls and I pulled uh, two new legendaries in about just over 40 summons just from my crystals. I did not dip, dip into my diamonds at all. I got Venema and I got Broke here who people are saying is possibly the number one tank in the game. You know, sometimes you make an amazing pull, but you're new to the game and you don't know if somebody is great or not. He is great. But, you know, my champions were still, so many of them were five star that I was having trouble taking down certain content because these guys were dying way too long. And so I made a decision this weekend that after I pulled with my blue crystals 
I stopped summoning because I figured, you know, I've got something like 3,000 diamonds that I could spend on more and more summons and I could have I could have gotten you know a little bit lucky and gotten some new champions that I wanted but quite frankly I got so lucky with those pulls that you know I didn't want the house to win if you know what I'm saying if you go to go to gamble and you start winning at first and then you're, you think you're right in that hot hand and then everything that comes after is just worse and worse luck. And I was like, you know what? Instead of wasting those diamonds on summons that probably aren't gonna be that great, instead, I got, I went to my uh, shop and I got the uh, experience bonus. And I used all those diamonds on experience rate. Now, you know, I've got nearly two million in experience left over, and I am just going in here, and I'm just starring up every hero I can, every hero that, you know, from the, uh, from the shop, I'm buying all these ones and two stars, and I'm trying to get as many top champions to six stars in level six. As you can see, I now have six champions that are fully maxed to level 60 and my goal is to get my other legendaries to 60 and some of my top tier champions all to level 60 so you know now I've kind of slowed down and I have to wait to be able to get more uh, heroes from the shop to level up and all that and that's fine but as you can see, I still have some diamonds left over for the next summoning session, because maybe next weekend there's gonna be some amazing 10 times champion that I'll just have to try to pull for or something. But there comes a point in the time in this game where you have enough good champions that you need to start making some serious progress with those champions and not worrying only about saving all of your diamonds uh, for summoning sessions. And maybe you get super lucky early on and you get a ton of legendaries, or maybe it takes a few more weeks to start gathering the heroes that you need. But at some point, you're gonna just wanna use blue crystal summons. You wanna save those diamonds for energy. Now it's up to you, you know, when you want to do that, what you want to do that for, if there's a specific event that you really want to do it for. You know, there's other things that you need to do uh, to heroes throughout the week. I still need lots of promotions for some of them. So I'm going to wait for a promotion event and then I'm going to start promoting, you know, what's left. You know, I've done a pretty good job of promoting the heroes that I need, but I'm a little low on some of these. Even on my, um, oops. even on you know my abomination, I got him to sixty, but he's still only two stars of promotion. All because sometimes you only can focus on one thing at a time. So the next event that has you know promotion uh, raid, that's what I'm gonna focus on. But there's so much that you gotta do. You gotta get them in better artifacts. You've got to awaken them if you can. You've got to get their skills up. There's so much you need to do these heroes. For these heroes. And my gear stinks. My gear is just... Other than somehow my Valeria is okay. Like, at least compared to everything else. But most of my gear is just garbage. And I think that's just kind of how the game goes. Is It's just going to be a game where you have to slowly and methodically get better gear. I think that's the name of the game. Is I, I think that the game does a really great job of allowing you to collect really cool heroes pretty easily, and it's really hard to get them. So that's my experience. Uh, that's how I just got my Volca. Let's uh, change her to you know, uh, rarity here. 
going to go ahead and max her out to 50. Let's see what kind of promotion I can do for her. Not sure how far I'm going to be able to get, and I'm already out. And then I'm already running low on skill dust because I just uh, got some of my other legendary heroes skilled up a little bit. So this is all I'm going to be able to do for Volca right now. But it doesn't seem too hard to be able to get dust over time. And I'm going to have to get her an artifact that's probably not a very good one. What can you do? So now I've got nine legendary heroes in my arsenal and a good number of the top epics. So I've made pretty good progress. I know that there are people that uh, get Volca much faster. I think the record is just over 18 days, like on day 18 or 19 or something. Like people can get her really fast, but that's probably people that played the beta and knew exactly, you know, what you had to do for each part of the storyline. So now I've just got a few things left in the sub storyline to do. I'll could do that over time, I'm sure. Not too worried about that. I got my Volca. And so next thing I need to do is uh, just continue to uh, max out my heroes and try to get better gear. So six weeks in, I think my account's going really well. Uh, completely free to play to date. Hey, maybe someday I'll spend money on this game, but so far I haven't seen the need. But hey. Good game. Let me know how your summoning has been going. You know, how is your account progressing? Uh, has it gone a little bit faster for you or a little bit slower? Let me know. I know that this is a luck based game in some ways so maybe you've gotten like the worst legendaries or the best legendaries i think i've gotten very good legendaries maybe i haven't gotten like you know the top the top legendary the top lords or anything like that but i also haven't gotten any trash so i'm pretty happy with uh, how my account's going and we're going to continue thanks for watching don't forget to Hit that like button, subscribe for more Watcher Realms content. See ya!